In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a Facebook page from beginning to end. Now, I did do a complete tutorial last year. However, Facebook has changed a few things, so I'm going to get you up to speed on some of the newer features. I have helped so many people build successful Facebook pages, both paid and organic traffic to their businesses. Now keep this in mind, Facebook is still the biggest social media platform, so it's important to have your presence on Facebook to drive targeted traffic to your website. And if you're new to the channel, hey, what's up? My name is Cynthia and I teach everything related to Facebook marketing. So if you're interested in learning more, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and tap that bell notification so you'll be notified every time I drop a video just like this. Hey guys, now before I jump into the tutorial, I just want to show you very quickly my page insights for one of my Facebook fan pages. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I am in the e-commerce space and that I build out multiple different fan pages to drive traffic to my Shopify store. So very quickly, I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page so you guys know it is real. But basically, I pulled up one of my Facebook pages and for this page, I have over 300,000 likes. Now, what I wanted to show you is that I did not build this you know one day and then overnight I had over a million followers um, but this requires um, daily posting constant engagement with your audience so there's a lot of stuff that you need to do in order to grow a very successful and healthy Facebook page so I'm gonna go ahead and hover this as you guys can see I'm growing this steadily there's nothing crazy there's no crazy spikes you know it's just you just have to be consistent with posting content which I'll be showing you guys later on in this video on how to create a successful page as well as creating content that attracts new customers uh, to your business, attract new audience that like your page right into the tutorial I'm actually gonna show you two ways that you can create your page it doesn't really matter which way you choose it's really all the same just depends on your preference but the first way is once you log on to Facebook and you're on the home page go ahead and click on this icon up here and then under Neath create, you want to go ahead and click on page. Once you click on page, you'll be redirected to this page over here where you can enter in your the name of your business, the category that you're in, and also a short description about what your business is about, what products you sell. Now, a second way is that if you already have a Facebook business account, you can log into your uh, business manager, go under business settings, go under account and then click on page. And then from here, you'll get a page that looks something like this. You can click on this blue button that says add and then come down here, it says create a new page. So either way you'll, you know, be creating a page. It just depends where you want to um, create it from. You can create it from business settings or go directly from your Facebook homepage. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just gonna stick with creating a page via our homepage. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in the name of my business. So in this case, I'm just gonna say, you know, horse lovers apparel. And then for the category, now keep in mind for the category, sometimes you're not able to find the exact one for your business, which is fine. Just find the one that closely relates to your business. Now this just helps with Facebook trying to categorize what your page is about so that they can suggest your page to people that may be interested. So with Facebook, you can actually add up to three and I do recommend that you always add up to three. It just maximizes the chances of other people discovering your page. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in horses. Now, as you can see, most of these have to do with, you know, horses in general, not really horse, uh, you know, clothing or apparel, accessories, things like that. So just pick the one, again, like I said, closely relates to what your business is about. I'm just gonna say horse trainer. Um, another one is clothing. So I can say clothing brand, and then I can type in apparel and clothing. So these three just kind of summarize what my business is about. Again, it doesn't have to be exact. Now for the description, you can just type in something short and simple about what your business is about, what products you sell. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly, uh, paste this in. I've already pre, um, created the description and mine just says we are a dedicated team of horse lovers and we want to uh, spread the love of horses. Our journey began on 2019 when we first launched our clothing and accessory line. We always pride ourselves to deliver the best quality items to your closet. So something short and simple. Um, I do believe that they do have a character limit. So make sure that it's not too long that 
Facebook doesn't allow you to type that much. Um, but you guys can use this as the backbone for your description or just give you inspiration on what you can put here. Also, another thing is if you look up here at the top, they actually give you the option to toggle between desktop and mobile. So a lot of times you can see how your audience is actually viewing your page through their mobile phones or if they're visiting your page through the desktop. So it's a really nice feature Facebook has added. But once you are done, you can go ahead and click create page. And then you'll be redirected to this page where you can go ahead and customize the look and feel of your Facebook page. You can also go through all the different tools and settings that Facebook provides you with, which I'll be going over a little bit later on. Um, but right now I'm gonna actually show you how to upload your logo, your cover photo, as well as adding a button to your store and also customizing a username for your page. Let's first upload our logo. Now, hopefully by the time you're creating this page, you actually already own a business with a logo. Um, so I just recommend you upload that. If not, you can just get a um, any kind of photo. You can go on Pixabay and get a photo that closely relates to your business. So just go ahead and click on this camera icon and then go ahead and click edit profile picture. And then just go ahead and click upload photo and upload your logo. So I just uploaded my sample logo. So as you can see, you can actually toggle your logo to make it bigger or smaller. Now keep in mind, the profile picture that Facebook provides you with is actually a circle and not a square. So if you're enlarging this, it might get cut off. Um, so you wanna make sure that you get it inside the circle here. So once you're done, go ahead and click save. Now for the next part, I'm actually gonna show you how to create a cover photo for your Facebook page. I'm actually using a software called Placeit. This is literally my one-stop shop to create anything Facebook-related content, Facebook cover uh, photos. Um, I also use Placeit to create advertisement for Instagram um, and other social media sites. It's, they literally have everything. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you can customize it. So the first thing you want to do is go under designs and then if you hover over this, go under social media and they actually have an option for Facebook covers. So what I like about Placeit is that they understand the dimensions of what Facebook finds acceptable when you upload it onto uh, your page. And so as you can see, these are the wide uh, photos that you can customize the colors, you can replace the images, add in text, things like that. So I like this because, you know, every time there is a different, you know, holiday or a season, you could actually go onto Placid and create a different cover photo and then upload it onto your Facebook page. Very quickly, I'm gonna show you an example on how I customize my cover photo. I'm gonna use this one as an example. So once you click on it, you're gonna be redirected to this page where you can customize the text over here, the color scheme, uh, the icons, and photos down here. So the first thing I want to do is come down here and type in horse. And what place it will do is they're gonna suggest different royalty free photos that you can use. So over here, I see a horse. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. So as you can see, it appears here. I can go ahead and drag it up or down. So I like it like that. And then up here, I can select an icon. So again, I'm just gonna type in horse to see what they give me. Um, again, they have so many different options. Just pick one that you like. Um, you know, they have this one over here, this one. So we're just gonna stick with this one. You can move it around. And then the next part, I'm going to swap out the text. So I'm gonna put the name of my business, which is, you know, horse lovers apparel. And then of course you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, however you like. I'm just gonna make it like this. And maybe put the icon up here. And then for the bottom, I can just say, you know, visit us today. And then I can put this down here just like that. Now instead of red, I can go ahead and maybe pick a different color. Maybe green would work. Uh, let's go with a darker green. And then I can also change this one as well to make it the same color. So I'm gonna go with green. 
And that's pretty much it, super easy and simple. Once you are done, you can go ahead and click the download button. Also, if you guys are interested in using Placeit to create all of your Facebook content, don't forget to click the link down below this video to get 15% off your subscription. So you'll get a 15% off with the monthly and the yearly plan, but I believe the yearly plan, you'll get a better deal. This is the one I'm currently using. And you know, with creating Facebook, it can be a very tedious task, but Place it makes it super easy and simple. It's literally drag and drop. You download it and then you can post content every single day. Now coming back on over to our Facebook page, I'm just going to go ahead and click on this edit button over here. And then I'm going to click on upload photo. Upload it my cover photo and it looks something like this. If you're satisfied with how it looks, just go ahead and click save changes. I'm actually going to show you how to add a button. Now, I do highly recommend that you guys add this to your Facebook page, no matter what business you're in, because at the end of the day, we are looking to drive traffic to our website, whether to get clients, to build our email list, or to sell a product. We definitely want to funnel that traffic, and Facebook gives you that option too. So over here, you can just go ahead and click on add a button. Now, depending on what your business is, go ahead and pick the one um, that best fits you know, what you're trying to sell. So, you know, if you're an accountant, you may want to have the book now button. Um, if you own maybe a mom and pop shop, a bakery, you can have a call now button. Um, so if you own an e-commerce store like me, you can have a shop on a website. So, you know, if I click on this, I can actually paste in my website right over here. So I'm going to come on over to my test Shopify store and I'm going to copy my link right over here come back on over to my page and paste in my website. And then I'm going to go ahead and click save. Now for the next part, I'm actually going to show you how to create your own username. Now I do highly recommend that you get a unique username for your Facebook page because whenever you're on your own website or you're through your email list and you want to redirect to your customers to follow you on social media, um, whether it be Facebook or Instagram, you definitely want to have a unique username because it's going to go something like facebook.com slash a very long and ugly URL. So you definitely want to um, clean up your URL, which goes facebook.com slash whatever your username is, it'll be up here. So just go ahead and click create username. Now your username actually has to be something very unique. So sometimes, you know, someone could have already took a specific username. You just have to think of something different. So in this case, if I just type in horse lover, as you can see, once I uh, type that in, they're going to tell me that this isn't available. Someone has already uh, took this specific username. So, you know, in this case, I can just type in, you know, maybe horse, um, horse lovers apparel. So if it's available, you're going to get a check mark that looks like that. And then you can go ahead and click create username. See that our URL will now be facebook.com slash whatever our username is horse lovers apparel. Again, this is just much more cleaner and it's just so much easier to share with your customers. You know, and just say, Hey, follow us on facebook.com slash whatever your business name is. So now for the next part, I'm actually going to show you how to customize your page using these tools and settings you see here over on the sidebar. So for the first one is the home button. This is what you see over here where you can customize your logo, your cover photo, buttons, etc. Now for the next one is the manage shop. Now all of my years of creating Facebook pages, I've never actually found this useful. If your customers or potential uh, buyers are going to want to buy something from you, most likely they're going to click on the button to go to your website to purchase directly from you. So I never really found this useful. Um, the next one is your messenger tools. Now, once you click on this button, you're going to get this page that looks like this. Um, so what this is, is basically you can set up conversation starter. So if somebody wants to message your page, um, you can actually set this up to give them a greeting message. Say, you know, Hey, thank you. Thank you for reaching out to us. Yada, yada, yada. Now what they have on Facebook is pretty generic and their features on here are pretty limited. So I do recommend going back on over to my channel and actually watching this video over here. It's called Facebook Messenger Bot Tutorial. I actually use a software called ManyChat. They just have a ton more features um, and I show you exactly how to set this up for your Facebook page. So I do not mess with the one on Facebook. I do it directly through ManyChat. Again, just go back to watch that tutorial. 
Now for the next one um, is inbox. So once you click on inbox, once you know anyone messages you on Facebook, you're gonna get your messages over here. So we are not gonna have any here because it's new, but you're gonna get one here, here. And sometimes they may have a question about your products or services. Maybe they have a question about, you know, hey, where, you know, where's my shipping information? Any Anything from your customers you can find uh, through your inbox. Um, if you're into podcasts, I've never actually uploaded any podcasts onto my Facebook page, but you know, if that's what you do, you can use this feature here. Business apps, so once you click on it, you know, I've never used any business apps for my pages, but you can download any appointment apps, reservation apps, you know, if you own like a restaurant or a hair salon or what have you, you can download these apps and to help better uh, suit if customers are booking their appointments through Facebook, you can use these apps as well. The next one is resources and tools. These are just uh, articles that Facebook provides you with that you can read through it. It's just more information on how to build your Facebook page. Next one, again, appointments. Um, you know, if you're, you know, if you have like a business where it requires an appointment, like if you're an accountant, you can also use this feature. Uh, manage jobs. So once you click on this one, so if you're looking to hire somebody, you can create a job listing over here. It'll just say, you know, um, what their salary is, yada, yada, yada. And then you, they can submit their application and you can create different jobs on here as well. Um, notification. So this is the part where, you know, if someone likes your page, comments on a post, you can check these notifications here. Now, if you're like me, I generate millions of traffic to my page um, every single month. And so my notifications are usually so full and I don't actually check it, but you know, if you're getting started and you want to know, you know, what notifications you're getting, you can check that. Now, insights. This is the most important tool that you will ever use for your Facebook page because with insights, you can see how well your page is doing. So let me just go ahead and, okay. So once you click on page insights, there are so many things that you can uh, go through. Uh, so for the overview, this is the best place where you can see, you know, uh, page views, page likes, how many people you've reached. So again, because this is new, I don't have any data, but I'm gonna pull up um, the insights from one of my other Facebook fan pages just to show you guys how it actually looks like. So I just pulled up one of my page insights from my other Facebook fan page with data so I can show you how it actually looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the page so you guys know it is real. Um, but basically, if you look under the overview section, um, under page insights, Facebook will show you, you know, how many page views you got, page likes, post reach. I'm actually going to toggle this within the last 28 days just to give you guys a better picture. So within the last 28 days, I've reached over 23 million people. Again, this is all organically. I didn't pay Facebook any advertising money to promote any of my content. All of this is done organically. Um, if you look under page likes over here, I've received over 11,000 people that liked my page. Again, this was generated organically. Um, so if you guys want to learn how to generate organic traffic to your Facebook page and build a, uh, a loyal audience base, wait till the end of this video and I'll show you, you know, some tips and tricks on how you can create uh, viral traffic to your page. So again, page insights gives you tons of data just to see how well your content is doing, how well your page is doing. So the next one is publishing tools. So once you click on it, you're gonna get a page that looks just like this. Uh, this is the part where you can go ahead and schedule out your content. All you have to do is just click create post and you can post it now or you can schedule it. So what I recommend is on the first of every month to go out to do your own research and then schedule all of your content out for a whole month. That way you're not constantly having to log onto Facebook on a daily basis just to post your content. I do recommend that you schedule everything out. I'm actually gonna show you how to do this at the end of this video um, in conjunction of how I uh, create you know, viral content and how I schedule them. So just wait to the end of the video and I'll show you how you can schedule your content right over here. 
Uh, but other things you can do is you can come on over here and Facebook actually have a sound collection if that's what you're interested in. We can browse through that. Um, also, if you are looking to build an email list, you can use uh, the Facebook lead ads form. Um, you can use the lead setup right over here. I actually have a complete uh, tutorial showing you exactly how to do this. Just come back on over to my channel and just watch this video over here called Facebook Leads Ads Tutorial. I show you exactly how to create leads ad on Facebook to build out your Facebook, um, to build out your email list via Facebook. So again, you can do so many things via the published post. So the next one is Ad Center. Uh, I don't recommend that you um, create your ads or do anything via the ad center here. If you're interested in running ads with Facebook, I recommend you watch my Facebook ads beginners tutorial over here. I show you A to Z on how to create a business account, how to run your ads. So if you're interested in running ads, again, go through your uh, business manager account and not through the ad center. The next one is page quality. So if I click on page quality, it's gonna look something like this. So you definitely want a green check mark that just shows that your page is in good standing. You haven't posted any content that's potentially shady or kind of edgy that violates any of Facebook's policies or whatever restrictions they have. So if you have these restrictions, it'll appear here and they'll, you know, they'll say, you know, you have violated X, Y, Z, right? So it's a good place to check on a, you know, monthly basis or daily basis just to make sure that your page is in good standing. Um, for the next one is edit page info. So if I click on this, you're gonna be redirected to this page. So with the edit page info, most of it is already filled out as I showed you in the beginning of this video. So we have our you know, name, username, description, categories. But you know, if you wanna add in some contact information, you can fill out a phone number if you have it, email, website. Um, if you have a physical location, like if you own a restaurant or a hair salon, um, you can enter in your location here. But if you're like me and you own an e-commerce store and you don't actually have a physical location, you can just leave it blank. Uh, to the next part, if you have certain hours of operation, you can go ahead and fill this out over here. Um, you can say open or select certain hours so you can enter in your hours over here. Now, due to the global situation, this feature has been added to Facebook. Um, if your business is facing, you know, certain inconvenience or events that has to do with Rona Rona, uh, you can come on over here and, you know, just type in, you know, you're going to please expect a longer response time, different policy updates or extra support. Now, if you actually have a link that tells your customers more about the global situation, you can actually add in a link right over here for more information. Now, once you get on page settings, they're gonna give you a few tabs and tools that you can navigate through on the sidebar. So for the first one, we're gonna go over general settings. Now, there are so many things you can do here. Um, if you want to hide your page, you can do that over here. So right now it says page publish, but if you wanna unpublish it, you can simply click edit and then unpublish. Or maybe if you don't want other people to tag your content, you can disable it here, but I don't recommend that because the whole point of building up our Facebook page is so we're gonna get as many people to tag the friends and share our content. So, um, so again, so many different uh, tools here, but every time I create a brand new Facebook page, I always really only mess around with these four settings here. So I'm gonna box it in so you guys can see. So for the first one um, is the country restriction. So the only time I would recommend that you guys mess around with this is, let's just say that you are a fitness trainer and you're only offering your service in the United States, right? So it doesn't make sense that you have other countries being able to view your page. Um, and the reason behind that is sometimes you get a lot of spam from different countries that can get annoying. So you can actually come on over here and click edit Okay, and then you can type in, you know, United States if that's the only country you're offering your services to. So only show this page to viewers in this country and click save changes. Now, you know, if you're in the e-commerce business and you're selling worldwide, this is something that I wouldn't touch. There's no need to, but really depends on what business you're offering. Um, you know, in that case, like I said before, if you're like a fitness trainer and you're only offering service in the US, 
you know, you can go ahead and change the setting here. Now for the next one is age restrictions. Now these are for certain businesses like who are selling alcohol or you're in gambling and there are certain legal age restrictions that you know people need to meet before viewing your content um, a lot of times we don't want facebook to flag our page for showing content to people who are underage so you know it's something that you can adjust here so you can always click edit and then you know you can select you know alcohol related people 21 and over things like that so really it just depends what uh, type of business you're in now for the next one is content moderation. Uh, this comes in very useful if you're getting like a lot of spam and people just um, abusing your page. You can come over here and you can actually add in different words, phrases, or emojis that if anyone ever types this specific word, uh, Facebook will go ahead and hide those comments immediately. So, you know, say for example, someone say, hey, this content is stupid, you know, and you don't want that to appear. So you can just say, you know, type in, stupid and then click add and then save so you can literally add in any kind of phrases emojis anything you want and then just uh, put it in here and then the next one is the profanity filter um, i always uh, change this so i always click edit and then i'm going to say you know hey put on the profanity filter so anytime people use a curse word you know, Facebook can hide those comments immediately. So your other people who are viewing your comment section won't be able to see those comments. Uh, so for the next part, uh, messaging and the advanced messaging, I, as I already talked about before, I use ManyChat, just go back to watch how to set that up on my channel. Page info, this is literally a duplicate. We've already discussed this. Um, so for the next one is templates and tabs. So let me show you how this looks like. So over here, you can actually click edit and then depending on what type of business you're in, nonprofit, you own a venue, you're a politician, you own a restaurant, you know, they're gonna give you pre-made templates that you can use. But if you don't wanna do that, you can literally just come on over to the tabs and you can customize one for yourself. Now, I want to I want you guys to be mindful that when you come on over to your page, you're going to have this home tab and then you're going to have three tabs that are shown on your Facebook page before the more button. So you want to make sure that the first three tab is the most relevant for your business. So coming back on over here again, make sure the first three tabs here is the most relevant for your business. Everything else that you see down here that person will have to click this more button and then navigate here. So you wanna make sure, again, like I said, the top three um, is the most important. So again, you know, if I'm in the e-commerce business, um, I might want the, you know, shop here and then maybe reviews um, and then, you know, maybe the about section I can put up here. Um, so that these three are the most important and then you can hide away the ones that you don't need like if you're not listing any jobs you can toggle this turn it off you don't have events you can turn it off things like that so this is coming into use when you are trying to customize how you want your template to look like on your page the next one is event ticketing uh, again if you know selling concert tickets I never mess with this um, you can just come on here for any ticketing um, things you want to do. Next one is page roles. So let's come on over here. Now, if you're hiring like a virtual assistant or someone is helping you manage your Facebook page on a day-to-day -day basis, you can actually assign them a role that you know they can post content for you on your behalf, things like that. So you can actually add them over here. You can add them as a community manager. You can assign a different page role. You know, you can manage it all over here. Now for the next one is people and other pages. Now, this one you'll rarely use because it's mostly for, you know, if you want to filter out people who have liked your page, pe people who follow this page, uh, pages that like your page, banned people and pages, people blocked on Messenger. So say for example, someone is continuously spamming your page and, you want to block them or ban them from your page, you can go under ban people and then um, click ban a person and then you can find them and then 
uh, ban them so they can't um, access your page. So the next one is preferred page audience. I'm not gonna go over this because uh, Facebook has removed this. Now the next one is issues, electoral or political ads. Now for this part, uh, Facebook have very strict rules that uh, only certain countries are allowed to run these specific ads. There is a entire process that you have to go through um, to get approved to run uh, this, these type of ads. So any political, social ads, you'll need to first off select the country you're in and then literally go through an entire process before you can run them. So if you're, you know, um, you know, running any kind of political ads, you need to make sure that you get it, you get approved from Facebook before you run them. Um, I'm not going to go through ad limits. If you're interested in ads, again, go back and watch my Facebook beginner ads video. Now for the next one is branded content. Now for branded content, once you click on it, you're going to be redirected to this page. This page, Facebook has actually improved since last year. So things do look different. So what this basically is, okay, so if you are a beginner, first off, I wouldn't worry about this feature because these are mainly bigger brands that want to work with your page to promote their content. So um, it is a paid partnership, which you can consider later on down the road as you build your page and become, you know, if your page is big and you become a big influencer, you can start uh, working with other brands. But, you know, if you're a beginner and you're building out these pages, this isn't something that you have to immediately look into or apply as a creator because big brands want to work with pages with a huge following. Um, so once you get there, you know, you can consider this, but I'm going to briefly go over what this is. So you can basically work with uh, brands and they will pay you, you know, X amount of dollars to help promote their content. So what you can do is you can apply as a creator and then these brands can find you and potentially work with you. So if you are interested, Facebook actually, if you go over to their business help center, they have this entire article on how you can create a new project, uh, create your project brief um, to attract brands to that want to work with you so your project brief can look something like this as you can see they have different brands over here that you've listed and you know different campaigns and number of submissions things like that so definitely something to look uh, into doing once you have a big following so here's an example on what brand of content will look like so say for example this is you this will be the the brand that you're working with post planner Okay, so they're going to, you know, so basically you're promoting their article, their product, their whatever. So it's going to look something like this. You're going to have your page with whoever brand you're working with. Now, if you come on over here, here's another example. This is, say for example, this is your page and you want to work with this brand. You're going to, it's going to appear just like this. And if your audience is interested in reading more about your partnership, they can always do that as well. And it's going to look something like this. For the next one are both Instagram and WhatsApp. So the reason why these are on here is because Facebook owns Instagram and WhatsApp. So you can actually come on over here and connect your Instagram account. Now, some of you might be asking me, well, Cynthia, why do I need to connect my Instagram account to my Facebook page? So um, the main reason that I do recommend you guys do that is when you're scheduling out content, instead of posting on Facebook and then going on Instagram and posting the same content, you can actually schedule it all at once through Facebook. So you're not you know, posting it twice on two different platforms. You'll post it once and Facebook can schedule it to be posted on Instagram and Facebook at the same time. So it does save you a lot of time. Um, I do recommend that you, if you're creating a Facebook page to also create an Instagram, connect it. And then when you're scheduling out your content, you can schedule it for Facebook and Instagram. Trust me, this will save you a ton of time and you get to build audience on two different platforms. Last thing I want to touch here is cross posting. Um, I've actually never played around with this feature, but basically what it is, is if you want to collaborate with a different page to post videos 
on each other's behalf, you can do it here. All you have to do is add their page. They'll probably have to approve you. And then you guys can start posting on each other's pages. Again, I've never tested this, uh, but that's an option if that's what you're looking for. So as promised, at the end of this video, I'm actually gonna show you how I actually create content to grow my Facebook page and create viral traffic to attract new customers and new audience to see all of my content and um, bring more people to my, my business. So I actually use Placeit as I showed you guys previously, but I love this platform and I can't say enough about it because they've already pre-made these high quality professional templates that you can use. All you really have to do is swap out different photos, um, texts and different color schemes and you can use it. A lot of big companies, they have to hire people to create this, but you know, you can already use these professional templates um, with Placeit. So I'm going to show you very quickly how I create these type of content. So usually I go on over to Google and I type in horse uh, memes or horse funny memes whatever and then I see what type of content is out there and then I'm gonna go out to create my own so again you know you can see you know all these here it says maybe she's born with it maybe it's enabling you know a lot of these you can actually recreate yourself so I would do my research you know you can also go on to your competitors Facebook page see what type of content they're posting um, or you can come on to Google and do your research from here. So I actually found this meme over here. It says, hey girl. Now I meant, hey girl, that is your job, right? So, you know, this is very funny for any horse lovers. So we are going to attempt to recreate this meme. So over here, I'm actually going to use this one over here. Once I click on it, it's going to look something like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually swap out the background picture. So... I can do it over here. Now, place it also give you the option to upload an image if you can't actually find one via place it. So I actually went on Pixabay and I found this horse picture. I download it and then I can upload it over here. So I just uploaded this horse picture and I'm gonna go ahead and click crop. Once I click crop, it looks something like this. I think it's already so beautiful. And then all I have to do is really change out the text. So over here I can just say, you know, Hey girl, and then I can move this up here and then I can just say, no, I meant, hey girl. And over here I can just say, that is your job, right? Again, you can change out the color. So if you don't like yellow, you can change it to white if you want to. Um, and then you can resize the text if you can make it bigger. I can put this over here, drag this down here. And then if you don't want these access icons or badges, you can go ahead and click no image to hide it out. And then basically I have my first post. Again, you have to already do your research, whether going through your uh, competitor's page or just going through Google and looking through the various memes and then recreating it on place it. So once you're done, just go ahead and click the download button. Now, once you have successfully created your content, you can come on back on over to publishing tools. And as promised, I'm gonna show you how I actually schedule all of my content. So you can go under schedule post, or you can click create post, however way you wanna do it. But I'm just gonna go ahead and click this blue button over here. It says create post. And then I can go ahead and upload it. So over here it says schedule your post. So you can select the date that you want to post this on. Um, so let's just say I want to post this next week at maybe eight o'clock in the morning. And then I can click save. And then, you know, they're going to show me, um, you know, what I want to put with this post. So I can type in the text. So I can say, hey, girl. And then I can go ahead and click add photo. Once you have add your photo, you can actually view how your post will look like over here. So it's going to look something like this. Um, also, as I mentioned before, if you also connect it, your Instagram, you can also select Facebook and Instagram. And once you schedule it, Facebook will post it on both platforms at the same time. So again, really does save you a ton of time. Uh, so once you're done, just go ahead and click schedule post done it correctly you'll be able to see the content that you've just created under the schedule post and I'll show you the date and time it will be posted on both Facebook and or Instagram 
Um, again, I do recommend that you guys do this the first of every month and then post it and then create these content for the entire month. It just saves you a ton of time. So for me, I do recommend posting two daily, um, but if you don't have enough time or you're, you're not able to do that much research, I do recommend posting at least once a day just to keep your Facebook page active. Again, you can always come on over to Facebook and do your research on your competitors. So in this case, I just type in horses and I filter out by pages. And I'm gonna see all the different types of pages that has to do with horses. Um, as you can see, this page have over 400,000 likes, this one over 700,000 likes, 300,000 likes. Uh, let's see, this one have over 600,000 likes. So just go through the big pages and see what type of content they're posting and then try to post similar content. Do not steal their content because you can get in a lot of trouble for that. Always create your own unique content and you can do it through Placeit as I showed you previously. So looking at some of these pages, what I like to do is I, I like to take a look at what type of content they're posting. So in this case, you know, there is a video here. This one has 700 likes. Um, and I see, you know, there's a photo here, seven over 700 likes. This one has over 4,000 likes. Um, so again, most of these are photography pictures. Um, you can go on Pixabay and find them. So you can go on Pixabay, type in horses, or if you can contact some photographers and say, hey, can we use your photo and we will credit you. Again, if you're gonna go with that route, make sure you get permission. Again, this photo have over 8,000 likes. So maybe, you know, professional photography of horses do very well. Um, again, you just have to do your research. Let's take a look at another one. Um, if I scroll through here, you know, they've posted some articles here, which I don't really recommend because Facebook don't really like links. But over here, this one is a meme and this one have over a thousand likes, you can see down here. And this is a really funny meme. It just says peekaboo, I see you. You know, this is very funny. If you can recreate something like this, I think it'll be great. Here's another, um, Facebook page you can take a look at. Again, I can go through and see what type of content is working. Let's see, um, this one have over 600 likes. This one has 24,000 likes, this is amazing. So I will actually see what type of photo. Again, it's just photography. So maybe within the horse niche, a lot of professional photography videos or pictures and photos, what have you, work very very well again as you can see they get really great results now this can also be due to the fact that they already have a huge following so over here they already have over 300,000 people that like this page um, but again i recommend that you guys do your research on your competitors know what type of content they're posting what is working and then create a strategy that works for you so that's it for today's video. If you guys have any more questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. I love to know. Also, if you found value in today's video, to please go ahead and leave a like and stay subscribed to my channel for more content just like this. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Live free.